Hello, welcome pen friends. I'm back with another video. Um, I introduced this little pen about a week ago when I did a pen allowance. And this morning I got everything set up because I wanted to try the pen with the glass nib on several different papers. And I just thought, well, I'm going to I'm gonna bring my pen friends along with me and just, you know, just do this. Um, this is where I got it from. I got it from eBay and... It's they they listed it as Moon Man Mini acrylic fountain pen and glass nib pocket travel gift pen. So the pen came with that glass nib, which is what I was after, and then it also had a little uh, extra nib unit in there with it, which I showed on the other video. But so that you could go to this one, and it says uh, extra fine on it, and it's got kind of a little bit of a bend to it. So I'm still very much learning about this pen, and I don't want to review it yet, but I definitely want to try it out on some papers, and I had a, just an astounding time with it the very first time that I inked it up, and that's what gave me this idea to really try it on all my papers and see, you know, how um, ink comparisons would go, and this was back on the 21st when I first inked it up, and I was just blown away by what it did. So this is just sort of a, you know, inky messy video you know where I'm just gonna try it out and uh, try it out a little bit more I'm gonna stick with the KWZ Thief's Red though because I had such a good um, time with it the first time that I want to stay standard with that and just try it on all the different papers so I've got a bunch of papers from the last ink reviews that I did and we will um, just try it on that and see what happens so th this is posted because the way it comes it comes like this, um, very small and and uh, pretty. This is the gradient red. So let's just dive right into the ink. That's what I really wanted was a little pen with a glass nib. It's my first one, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I hadn't wanted to invest a huge amount, but I wanted to see what you know what I could do with it and w whether it would write. So let's just go ahead. And this is my little ink sample. I'm going to see because I haven't tried it yet on Tamoy River uh, paper or even Claire Fontaine. It's just been that one little notebook. So it, this could, anything could happen. It could be messy. It could be, <laughs> who knows. But the, it looks like, I mean, the ink really has a lot of places to go. So that's probably why it was so, uh, it worked so good that first time. So I'm just really excited about it. Let's see here. <laughs> Just not be shy. Ooh, what? It actually looks uh, even thicker on the Tomoy River than it did on the other one. Wow. I wish you could see how wet that goes on. Huh. Of course, that's right after the dip. Let's really put it to the test here. I guess we'll just write it out what it, they say it is. Moon Man. <laughs> Mini. You know, because I was thinking to myself, I thought this was only going to be for writing little indexes and playing with the ink samples, but I actually think I would enjoy writing letters with it, so. It says Moon Man Mini Acrylic. I can't spell, and it is Monday, so <laughs> acrylic. Fountain pen. And glass. Yep, okay, let's just get real here. All I want to do is see how far it goes and how it how it writes and it's really pretty smooth for what I was expecting anyway. And it, interesting, I kind of I've seen people turn the nib a little as they write. And so I kind of wondered if maybe that might be a trick to it, but it it just seems to write lo a lot longer than what I thought. And this is only my second time um, taking time to fool around with this pen, huh? I'm just I'm really impressed with it, and I I think wow if if this writes like this, does that mean that some of the more expensive ones like from Goulet are going to be better, or does this just mean I got lucky? You know I don't know. Um, I had put it off and put it off because I didn't think they would be this smooth, and I didn't think that I could get as much writing from it, but. That's just amazing. This was a paper that I messed up. 
I was trying to write and it got all smudged. And so I thought, well, this will be a good one for just testing. I, I was just going to try lots of little things with it to see. Huh. Uh, to me, it looks kind of like a medium nib. A, a nice wet medium nib. I, yeah, you can see that, right? There, it's It really lays down the ink. Probably will take a while to dry. Huh. I'm just... I just really like this. It's going to be much more of a, a pen than I thought. And I can feel it now that it's getting a little bit drier, but as I turn it and kind of work with it, there's still ink in there, which is amazing to me. Huh. Okay, I think I'm going to redip and go for another paper. I've got here some Loistrum. I'm just finishing this. This was from lots of the little ink reviews that we did. So let's try that. <clears throat> I mean, I just, you know, I, I feel like I don't know anything about glass nibs, and I'm not experienced at all with it. But I don't have to be with this, so that's incredible. I, I was expecting, <laughs> I don't know, I guess I was expecting to have to use my micro mash even. I got that out the other day too, but I still haven't felt like I needed to, you know. No reason to, so. Okay. So this is the Loistrum right out of a, a, a dot grid journal that I I favor for my bullet journals. Now, one thing I want to know about this is, is it going to, you know, is it going to bleed through, so. And, and it may at first because that's a pretty thick, pretty thick uh, amount of ink that it puts down. But we'll just put it to the test. And I'll put the ink, KWZ. I forgot to do that on the other one. <laughs> the thief's Red. Huh, okay. Let's look on the back. Okay, so far so good. Wow. That means I could get in and decorate on my uh, bullet journal and expect that maybe it won't bleed through, which is a really nice thing. <laughs> Lay it on a little thicker and see what happens. <clears throat> yeah. Huh. Definitely not bleeding through yet anyway. I got nice and red on me. I like this. I like it very much. It's it's one of those things where I thought, well, probably the glass nib won't be that big a deal and I'll end up having to use the uh, the other one, but I knew there'd be something else. Whoops. I knew this other nib was there, so I wasn't going to completely have, uh, you know, failure, but this just really surprised me. Okay, I know it'll go further, but I have some other papers to test too. <laughs> Whew, I'm not going to stack them up though, I have a feeling they're going to need to dry. Okay, here's one, here's a test, because Claire Fontaine is usually, well, I just think of it as the, the driest and the most, and it needs a wet nib for sure. Gosh, this is cool. I mean, I've got other pens that were way more expensive that that just don't act right on this paper, so. And I'm not. I, I feel like I haven't really got my stride yet as far as how to hold the pen or anything. That doesn't seem to really matter. Okay, KWZ. Thief's Red. I wonder... You know, of course, only time will tell me whether it'll hold up to me, you know, to heavy use. I don't I don't know, you know, how they put these together. I really don't, but this definitely makes me not want to stop. You know, it doesn't, it makes me feel good about glass nibs. I don't, uh, I can wonder, you know, how come it took me so long to want to try, you know, to try it. <laughs> okay, here's the Rhodia Dot. But I know I need more ink now. I could feel it start to drag. But that was across two papers, so I can understand it. I'm so used to holding it, my serendipity pen, in longer. Because it, it's kind of needed. Uh, the longer I hold that one in, um, 
that's has a traditional feed and nib then it gets into the little reservoir and so I, I have that habit of just holding it there and it's not needed it with this I'm sure okay let's see here You know, and I don't mind that it lays the ink down thicker because it's kind of like an old-fashioned feel, and I like that. Huh. Really feel all that steady this morning with my writing. Thought I had gotten <laughs> the ink off of there. Okay, so we got KWZ. And it's standard too, I think. Yeah. This is the KWD standard. Thieves. Red. Nice for Christmas, I think. No, my writing is just sloppy. Okay, let's see if I can do my name. Okay. Pull it up and see how it's going on there. There, you know, I just want you to be able to see it. It goes on quite, quite wet for any nib, and I really like it. Huh, now all I got to do is get my writing to straighten out. Maybe after I eat something it will. It's kind of early here, and I'm just starting out. Okay, here's the CVS caliber paper. Always a test to see whether we completely lose the color on it. Um, I may have to re-dip, but we'll try it. And then mini. Okay, doesn't quite act the same, but I haven't had to put it in the dip for a while. Last nib. Let's uh, try some printing. I haven't done that. Mini glass. Huh. Okay, in a minute I'm going to re-dip and see if that does anything different. Although I don't think so, because I could still see quite a bit of ink. I just, this this paper um, is different. It is the cheaper paper. It depends on how I hold it. Okay, let's re-dip and just see. Um, I don't think it's going to make a lot of difference, but that's one of the things I wanted to find out. You know, I, I'm happy if I can write one or two sentences with a, a dip, but it looks like it's much more than that. I haven't really actually, other than that first one, I still didn't run into a, with the Tamoy River, it was nowhere near done yet. I just re-dipped it, so I, I probably should take a longer time, and I will later, but. Okay, that makes a difference. Yeah, I guess they all need a fair trial. <laughs> Whoops, sometimes I forget to uh, do a little rotation, which really does help. But it, it, it doesn't have to happen, but it just seems like get a little bit more even distribution. Huh. I really like it. And one of the things that I like the best about this pen, let's go ahead and clean it up real quick, is that, you know, when it's being stored, it's just going to be um, covered, you know, whereas, oh, I had some wet paper towel. I just forgot about it. <laughs> whereas some of the glass nib pens, I'm not sure what you do, but you don't have to worry about this one when it's stored because it's going to be a little bit protected at least by its uh, screw on cap. So hmm. if I seem I'm a little timid about this pen, it's you know, it's just new to me, and I'm not all that confident with it, but I'm glad to, to see that it writes on all the papers I like, that I use. Um, I think I'm only missing one. I'm missing my regular notebook. Let's see. Let's see if we can just... It's a big, huge... Oh, here it is. Okay. It was just sticking in a bunch of... Here we go. Let's try it. Because this is a notebook, I'm going to have an avalanche over here, y'all can't see it, thank goodness, but <laughs> I'm getting used to a new uh, desk setup, and 
or it's getting used to me because I'll tell you it's been crazy this morning all right I do want to try it on this. This is the Office Depot College Rule Notebook. It's such a big notebook that I'm still writing in it. Oh, I had a little smearing because I stacked them. I'm still writing in it, and I want to, I really want to be able to use everything that I have in it, but I like to test it first, so let's see how it goes. Might as well. This one is uh, thirsty paper, so it, it just, you never know what will happen on this one. <laughs> okay. There it is, nicely on there. Green Man Mini. Glass nib. Just like me to write any old thing and then forget which which was which when I come back to it. Should have just I think I stuck it in the ink too far. Okay. KWZ. Red. Okay, it looks fine on there. I just need to get used to it because um, I, I usually get real close to the and the grip there quite often, and so I, I feel like it's a long way for some reason from where I'm writing. But it's comfortable. I have small hands, and that section is pretty small. So let's see. That's not going to show you anything, but I'm just, like I said, this is just me playing with the pen. I'm really excited about how well it writes. <clears throat> Monday! <laughs> After a long holiday weekend. Just trying to get back in the swing of things. Monday all day long. <laughs> yeah, I think this paper likes this pen just fine, but... Oh, I made such a mess. That was me, I believe. So now I can't tell, though. <laughs> let's go up here where it's clean. And just, let's dip again. It's not fair unless I do. Yeah, I made such a mess because I laid that right down on top of um, the CVS caliber. And it hadn't anywhere near gotten done drawing. So that was my fault. This would be even worse even messier if I wasn't filming but I just wanted to bring you guys along while I practiced with this and tried it out <clears throat> okay so try it up here in a nice clean corner <clears throat> with a fresh dip <laughs> all of these papers are finished really from all of our reviewing Okay, glass nib. Got to make sure, because I won't remember later after this dries. What was I doing? Lay it on thick and see if it bleeds through. Okay. Wow. That's pretty incredible. Okay, no bleed through. All that mess down there was just, you know, smudging for me doing it. Funny. Okay. Wow, I'm excited. This, you know, it, truly, uh, if I'm over on the couch or something, it might not be quite as convenient to write with this. But at the same time, um, if I had a little lap desk, plastic or whatever, and I was uh, trying out different ink samples, it would be so cool because just the wet paper towel is all I would probably need to just clean it up. Um, I tend to like to rinse it too, but <laughs> that's just me. So, you know, it wouldn't really take that much. I'm really excited about this pen. I like it. Just knowing that it writes on all the papers, it doesn't drag, and it comes across almost like a medium. That That's fun. <laughs> I laid it on pretty thick there, but it's so far not bled through. You know, you can see a lot of shadowing. Huh. Well, this is probably like watching molasses drip, but I just thought it might be exciting if you were thinking about it. And if you're like me, I'm I'm totally happy with my other, my Moon Man minis for writers. But when I saw that this came out with the glass nib, um, and it is a little bit thinner of a pen, but it has that same style, I just, I had to have one. And uh, they're so pretty too, all the different colors. This is the gradient red, but... Uh, 
So thank you for joining me. Uh, it's a little awkward, but I'm going to be back with another video announcing um, something that I decided over the weekend that I'm, we're going to be working on. So um, uh, hopefully that'll be good. I was going to combine it in this video, and then I decided not to. Um, I knew I'd be a little bit rambly. Oh, good Lord, 20 minutes. Um, <laughs> so I, I'll be back soon with the, the announcement on the next um inks that we're going to talk about. I'll give away that much. It's about an ink series and I'm really excited about it. So stay tuned for that and I hope you enjoyed seeing how this little pen does on a variety of papers. I just think that it does just as good as any other pen in my collection. So that's a nice nice thing. I will see you next time. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you. Bye for now.